Sewing mask to choose from. I can't really decide, so I'll just decide on this one. Why did I? Why, why did I actually um pick this mask? Well then, let's hop to it. Okay. I bet that everyone here want to know what is this mask called. This mask is called the unexpected iris and don't ask why. For the first time in um, out of um, all mask reviews, this is the first mask that's actually for once weird. Yeah. I never, I never actually um seen a mask um that had a wig, a wig attached to it before. So, without further ado, time to review. The unexpected iris mask is made out of PVC material and it costs about nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents from Spirit Halloween. Depends on how you want to ship it. Standard, if it's there overnight, so on and on. The eye holes have cloth coverings and has the wig attached to it, which has a hairnet as well. Flexible as most of the masks that I reviewed so far. The design of mask is creepy overall. Just look at the detail. It looks like a zombified woman wearing clown makeup. The color of the hair of the wig kind of, kind of like reminds me of Chucky a little bit. But unexpected iris, a very different story. To make the mask more comfortable, a piece of foam is provided inside the mask. You feel that? Very comfortable. So that way you won't, so you won't actually hurt your head. I believe that I covered everything about the mask, the details, the wig, and the inside of the mask. So, let's put it on. Oh yeah, and lastly, the, the reason I, um, I had my hair pinned up because earlier I've already um, explained um, about the wig attached to it. So, hold on. Let's put it on. So, let's start with the eyesight. Again, the eyesight is um, is cloth pretty much, and unlike the usual eyesight, but this one is kind of angled here because of the big hat right here. The breathing is like not bad. You just um breathe from your nose pretty much. But be careful. Breathe too much. And and get um out of here. So the best place to wear is to be outside in the cold. <laughs> and as for the wig part, 
Yeah, he's just aware of it on his hair is um it's pinned up and not in a bun. It's really a, a good idea to pin it up um, if you have long hair. If you have um has short hair, you're all good. Don't pin it up. Alright, let's take this off. Now for critique now. So I'll start with the pros. It's neat design, neat details pretty much. And this best to me is it's very unique um to my collection now. Comfortable inside, easy to wear. Hmm. Yeah. My my cons is because of different cloths, I, I, I can see easier with, with this one more than this one because of the white cloth with it. And it gets hot in here pretty easily unless you're outside. So overall cool mess pretty much so that's my review of the the inspector iris mask comment like subscribe and until my next video